What's up guys, welcome to East West Beats. Today I'm going to show you how to export all the tracks you have as stems. So if you want to send it to someone for mixing, mastering, or any other kind of purposes, you can do this. So for this, what you're going to do is go to File. We're going to go to Export and All Tracks as Audio Files. Once you have that selected, what you're going to do is you're going to have a lot of options. So first of all, I would go ahead and go on your desktop and make a folder. So once you have your folder made, uh, you're gonna it's gonna say how many tracks to be bound so, so you would just name I have this project name as project so again limit export to the wave cycle range I usually select this because that's the range that you have selected here with the marquee tool that's what it's going to export so if you want the whole song to be exported just make sure you have the whole song exported here you can choose different formats I usually choose wave bit rate 24 bit uh, again, one file per track. If you do want all the effects that you have on the tracks to be bypassed, you would check this. If not, you would uncheck it. I usually leave this to off because usually my levels are pretty safe and I don't need to worry about it. So leave this to off and then hit save and it will export all the tracks. Now, let's say you just want to bounce a wave or an MP3 to show it to someone. You would have, you would go to file, export. Uh, you would actually go to file, bounce, and then you go to project or selection. Once you do that, you have an option to choose uh, multiple formats. I usually do PCM and WAVE together. PCM is your high quality, so you would choose your WAVE or AIFF here. Uh, I usually do 48 if I'm sending somebody high quality. Um, and also, if you want to just bounce an MP3, you choose an MP3 and you hit OK. And that's how you, how you can bounce just one track that somebody can listen to. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you found this helpful, please hit the like and leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks.